Why, hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and today is another set review for you. And this one happens to be the Battle Arena from uh, in Sakaar from Thor Ragnarok um, movie, which happened to be awesome. The third Thor movie in the trilogy. Um, I have to say, uh, this one was the uh, funniest of the bunch, um, yet. Uh, not set, but the movie-wise, um, this was the funniest movie of the bunch. Um, not really, uh, it, it was a comical movie. Not really comic, but it had comic stuff in it. What am I trying to say? Not really, like, mythological-based. So, that was the point of this movie, but let's get, um, to the set and check it out. There's a lot of details in this set, so let's get right to it. All right, so I'm um, just back here with the set, and uh, we're gonna take a look at all the minifigs first, like you usually do. Then we'll take a look at the actual set. So first up is the guard of the set, the Sakuran guard, I believe is the name of this figure. Um, I can't believe, or I can't remember the name um, for the life of me, like the actual name. I believe it's called the Sakuran guard, but I, I think that's what it is. Um, so he comes with his uh, little staff, you know. Basic staff. Let me uh, move the camera there. There we go. Um, aha, there we go. So he comes with a little staff, his head, uh, body print. I kind of like the printing. This is the guard for Sakar, um, like the little henchman, the back printing, body, uh, head. And legs, black back, the back of the legs are black. Um, and Zoe is the front, so big, basic black legs there. Um, cool, cool uh, henchman slash, uh, uh, I was about to say dummy, um, henchman or goon for uh, Sakar. Pretty cool. And then the next character we will take a look at is um, probably Thor. So, um, the, the main star of the show. He comes with his cool uh, helmet that he wears in the movie. Not the whole movie, but um, in the battle scene, battle arena scene, he does wear this. I do wish um, on the um, helmet, I do wish that this could go up and down. Uh, as we do see in the trailer, like he like pushes this down or pushes it up, what whatever. So that would be cool if that could do that little uh, detail or feature had that feature um, as well, but it doesn't, so it didn't come with that uh, detail. So, um, as well, we also have the uh, swords here for Thor. I'm throwing them around, and uh, it, it's cool. It's like uh, almost like um, Deadpool with two swords, but instead it's like uh, parallel, um, not um, intersecting next to each other. So it's kind of cool, and it has a little shoulder pad, blue shoulder pad, and um, arm print, um, um, first time arm print for Thor, I believe, yeah, I want to say, yeah. Um, and this is the first Thor figure, or not first Thor, the the one Thor figure on the um, sets with this little red print, I don't know what that says, eight or something, yeah, well, red print, and his new um, body print. I love the f uh, face expression, the angry face. This is like lightning. It's really cool. So that's cool. And uh, leg print. Nothing too basic on the back. So that's cool. I think I just said cool about 5,000 times already in this video. I'm not sure what I did or not, but that's okay. Next up is Loki. So um, we get a new Loki print here. So that is exciting. Um... I do not, this is my only Loki minifig, um, which is kind of disappointing, he's holding a little, uh, golden, um, goblet, uh, not a goblet, uh, what do you call these things, wine glass, um, uh, and, um, he has his yellow cape, as, um, usual, I believe he had, yeah, he had a yellow cape, um, forever, um, but this is a different outfit than usual, this is what he wore in the movie, but this is really, I like this outfit kind of better than the original. Um, but yeah, I believe there's back printing. 
Um, there is some, well, no, I thought there was some arm detail, I guess not. But uh, I love the back expression, because it looks like he's crying. Like, there's some tears. Um, there's a tear there. Two tears. As you can see. So I think that's hilarious. It looks like he's crying, because I think the reason they did that is because, um, for one reason of the set, and he also comes with his helmet. Um, and I will show you some other details in the set as well. So let's get to the last minifig, and then I will show you everything else this set has to offer. So next up is the Grand Master, which I do have to say, I loved, um, dang it, I forget the actor's name that played Grand Master, Thor Ragnarok. Oh, I mean, he was such a great actor, and I just, just saw something the other day with this guy. But, uh, at any rate, he, uh, he was a great guy, uh, person to play, uh, Grandmaster. He has two expressions here. There's this one, like, just a regular smile, and then the other one is, like, uh, ha ha ha, like, I'm here. Like, I kind of like this face expression better than the other smile, um, on the back. But, uh, yeah, I like the hair expression. Same for Aldridge Killian. One side is blue arm sleeve, the other side is gold arm sleeve. Nice body, uh, nice back printing there. Gray legs all around. I love the body print, how they did that. The nice detail. But man, yeah, the actor just it did so well. And he uh, has blue makeup, eye makeup, blue chin uh, makeup on his chin there. But yeah, I just, when I heard that Grandmaster was going to be a character in it, um, I didn't know he was going to be a bad guy. I think he is a bad guy. He's the, um, the, the brother of, of uh, I believe the brother of um, the Collector. So uh, maybe Cousins, I can't remember, something like that. Um, so, something like that, but, uh, when I heard Grandmaster was going to be in this, uh, in the Thor Ragnarok, I was like, yes, that's awesome, because I always, um, and what, and how they, how they did the detail with the character, I was like, yeah, that's awesome, it's not, like, some, like, sad detail and stuff to the character, they, they did really, really well, so I, I am uh, enthralled by that, so, I showed you those characters. Now I'm going to show you a little bit um, of the set, um, extras, and missing stuff that I have not shown you yet. So we will get to that. Alrighty, guys. So we're back with the set, and here we are. We're going to take a look at some things that we uh, have not gotten to see yet. So first off, I want to pull out the big surprise um, for this set. So back here... Um, Back, like, right, if I touch, uh, back here, it, you can open up the door, and on these two things right there, and, uh, pull open this black door, and wha-bam, shazam, brah, there is the Hulk, ready to go, and run through the door there, so, there he is, the big green guy himself. Um, obviously, he can't really fit through the hole, but if you tried, you kind of can. I mean, I guess, if you did that, per se. But, I mean, if you just did that, I guess it would work. But there you go, there's Hulk. Um, and then you can close the door back up. Like so. And there he is. A big green guy. Um, I love this arm. This is my favorite arm probably. It just has all this armor on here. Turn his hand. I love the body print. Let's do that just a tiny bit. And then um, I love his helmet here. Um, I, I, this is my, my favorite Hulk in general just because of the body print and whatnot. Uh, this is awesome. I'm glad I have this Hulk now. I mean, it's amazing. I love his weapons here too. So uh, there's the Hulk, the big surprise. Him, um, big surprise. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the other stuff in this set. So um, there are a couple of things that you can do. So for instance, um, one of the missing things um, I want to show you guys over here. If you turn this, let's just turn the whole thing around. Let's put Thor and Hulk out of the way here. So if you turn this whole thing, whoops. Um, I think, uh, so the reason that Loki's, um, expression could change, or was, like, sad or whatnot, 
was because of this um, little detail here. So you can flip the chair. This is one of the little um, fun activities you can do in this set. Flip it like Loki's watching the battle and just like flip the chair. And then I bet the reason, well it doesn't work there, but if you do it fast enough he falls. So I bet that's the reason for the sad expression on the back of him. Um, so that's probably why. And then in here, this little, uh, um, the little cell right here, you can, um, open this up, um, and, like, put Thor in it, and, um, like, take out the swords, for example, take out the swords, for example, and pretend he's, like, locked up, which is amazing, um, I love that little detail, like, he's, like, locked up and ready to go, and then, like, wha-bam, like, come out, Thor, we're ready to go battle Hulk and, like, stuff, so. But then, also, what I did was I put Loki's hair inside here, so there's, like, space for me to put Loki's hair. So, yeah, that's where I put Loki's hair. So, it does come with Loki's, um, extra black hair. Um, that's just where I hid it. So, um, let's put, uh, Thor's swords back in. Let's do it that way. So then I should do those two little details in the set. And then next, the next little detail is, uh, well, I also showed you the door detail as well. So that's kind of a three, three things. And um, up above here, um, up above is this, um, the Grandmaster's chair. Um, so what you can do up there is... Uh, have the Grandmaster, um, he just falls a lot, so if you just push it like that, he can fall, um, easily, but the main point of it is to push him backwards, this is one of the details, push him backwards, and he can fall, kind of like Loki's chair, but it goes all the way upside down, so that's neat as well, so that's another detail in the set, um, which is kind of fun, um, I do like this set quite a bit, with all these details, and, um, action, and whatnot, um, and they did add, um, up above, they do have um, little spotlights up here, which is kind of neat, like um, battle spotlights. Like, turn them on and bam. And then um, down here as well, they have, uh, they also have in this set um, little, like, things to, um, like, kind of like spotlights. And if you pull on them, um, they can fall and will bam. So, yeah. I kind of like that little detail as well. There's, that's another detail in this set. Um, um, like little battle, like extra little things to make them, um, like weaponized little things. So I think that's cool. And there's this thing over here that you can take apart. I don't know what this does. That's not only really a detail, but it's something that comes apart and whatnot. I don't think that does anything important. But, so yeah. And then back here... If you turn it around once more, there's some stuff over here, um, weapons, to choose your weapon. So then if you turn it this way, it can come out, push it over this way, push it down, and you can choose your weapon. So basically the weapons are like um, a sword, um, a staff, and an axe, a battle axe. But Thor doesn't need any of those because in this set he has his two swords with them. So yeah, that's that detail as well. So you just push it down like so. Like right there. And come down with all the weapons. So there's about one, um, two, um, the thing on the back with the door cell. Um, so one, two, the cell, uh, which is three, four, five details in the set. And six, including the door. So, um, that's pretty cool stuff right there. So thanks for watching guys this set review on the Thor Ragnarok Battle Arena 
uh, in Sakar or from Sakar a set review. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Lego Space 2 Space 11. And don't forget to be awesome. So don't forget to, number one, like. Number two, subscribe. And number three, don't forget to be awesome. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye, guys.